Hello friends, how are you? My name is Francisco Pedraza and today I'm going to speak to you about the physical security. First of all, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel as you're going to find a lot of useful information for loss prevention and, and um, protection of assets and all these theories that can be useful for anyone who can, who want to actually improve the results of their activities. Okay, physical security. The physical security is uh, primarily directed to um, physical installations, facilities, like buildings and houses and the, any type of uh, facility that you actually use for the operation of the company. Okay, the in-depth protection is a theory that actually suggests that the precise risks inside the facility need um, more powerful um, barriers against the intruders because they, they are more attractive and they are more they have a higher risk, so I have to put more like stronger and bigger measures to protect the the assets that actually demand it and that it was identified as a as a crime, as a um, risk. Sorry. Okay, the four Ds is another theory for physical security that actually says we need these functions to be active all the time in my security systems my physical security systems okay so the first one is deter i need to have a security system that looks hard to overcome for an intruder or or any adversary that wants to come inside unauthorized okay so i need to deter the intention of the intruder or the, the criminal that wants to get to that asset, I want to first deter his intentions. If, it's the, if he is determined, then I need to first detect his bad intentions, his, um, his will, to actually break my countermeasures and get access to any specific asset or object that he desires. After I detect his bad intentions and the, the actions that he is making to actually achieve his, his goal, then I need to detect it and delay his action how do i delay his action i need to have installed some security measures like the specific assets like uh, valuable titles or even amounts of cash that need to be kept like this uh, uh, disposable then you need a safe you need a a, a box that is actually protected for unintended uh, unauthorized accesses so and then that box needs to be located in a place in an area that is actually not accessible to anyone not in a hallway you know then with those delays with that detection, you, act, you activate a deny reaction, a, a team that is actually displayed to neutralize the unauthorized in accesses, okay? But then when, from, my, from my detection, this is a timeline for the for an incident 
let's say an intrusion an intrusion yeah could be we are in time zero that's normal then in time one is the intruders decision and determination to access my facilities after he makes that decision he starts making actions towards that and then I'm going to make a detection when I detect then I have a time to display and activate the reaction team and for the team to actually come to the place is going to take a time what I need to is to train all the all the actors in my system to be displayed and activated faster and efficiently and very accurately regarding the risk that is being identified so yeah when when i have a facility usually i have a, a perimeter like the outer line of of property let's say that way and then after that i have a building in this area is this is called the clear area is used to actually uh have super uh have surveillance cameras and cctvs and sensors to to detect intruders before they get to the building and then in the building you need to take care of the windows every window before uh, below 16 feet of altitude need to have some bars or some protection against the access and then security doors and locks and the administration of keys is key for the access control okay so this is the two theories that i wanted to share with you today i invite you to visit uh, asisonline.org which is a, a website where you can find all the bibliography and all the texts all the lectures to study all these theories and then you can apply them to your life and then reduce losses and that will increase your final results so thank you subscribe to my channel and keep informed with all this information that i'm sharing and and please share and like my videos if you find it useful thank you very much bye bye